Hello everyone, my name is Tor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. Alright, thank you for joining me in today's video. If this is your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. On this channel, I talk all about things fashion related, handbags, mindful consumption, the general shopping vlog and chat here and there. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and you're not already subscribed, please do so now. Like this video if you want to and comment anything down below. If you're a returning subscriber or returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoy this one as well. So in today's video, we're doing something that I did on this channel a while ago. It is roasting some pieces from Essence. So Essence is a retailer. They are based in Montreal. They sell a variety of luxury fashion goods as well as some more, I would say on the experimental fashion side of things, they're known to curate some very interesting pieces from different designers that are not totally well known in the I guess general fashion sense, more niche designers, more niche pieces. So they do carry some really weird things that make sometimes me and I guess other people question who is buying this and why are they buying this? Where are they going in this outfit? So if you're interested in seeing some of the pieces that I found from Essence that are totally weird, totally wacky and wildly expensive, keep watching. All right, so if I'm looking down, I just have my laptop here, but I will be putting everything up on the screen. I have a mixture of men's and women's fashion, some clothing, some shoes, some bags here and there. So there's a little smorgasbord for everybody. All right, let's start off with one that's bound to make people scratch their heads. It is this green seaweed messenger bag by Solitude Studios and it is a upcycled canvas messenger bag in tones of green, fringed and frayed detailing throughout. Now, for 1,825 Canadian dollars, you too can look like you just picked a bunch of moss from the forest and put it on yourself. This bag is definitely interesting. It's definitely, it just makes me feel like you just went outside, you're prancing around, you are, maybe you practice paganism, you decided to sacrifice one of your plants to the witches and this is what you got in return. It is very natural. It is a, so upcycled canvas. I don't know what it feels like. It could be very soft. It could be very scratchy. It does look almost exactly like the moss that I see when I go on my walks in the forest. I don't know. It's just kind of like ugly. Like I, I do not see this being $1,825 after tax is well over 2k. It's definitely interesting, but it's definitely weird. Next we have a pair of shoes. These are the Burberry White and Black Arthur sneakers, but these ones have a beaded detailing in tonal beige throughout. These ones are very interesting. I don't know if the beading would be very uncomfortable. Sometimes in my experience when I've had shoes that have something over the ridge of your foot like that, that's sort of pressing it down as you walk and as you move your foot, it can sort of constrict the movement of your foot and be very painful. These ones are very cool though. I do like them. I'm not sure where you would wear these and at a price point of over two and a half thousand dollars. I just feel like these are a shoe that you would wear once. You would go to maybe like a themed party. Then everyone would be like, oh my God, those shoes are so cool. And then you'd bring them out again and everyone would be like, okay, like we already saw those shoes. What else do you have? So I feel like these shoes would be very trendy. Maybe if you can get them in the sale, they could be interesting. Styled with this look, I feel like they kind of look out of place, but you know, that's just me. I'm not sure, what do you think? Next, we have a little outfit. So this is from Kalina Strada. It's a blue ruffle skirt jumpsuit. For 545 Canadian dollars, this one isn't, you know, it's not gonna break your bank, but you will look like you just walked off the set of Cirque du Soleil. I'm sure this outfit has very interesting movement with all of the ruffles, with the different placement of these ruffles. I just feel like, where are you going with this outfit? Like, are you going to the grocery store? Are you going on a walk? Are you going out to dinner? Like, where are you going for with this outfit? And if it's not Cirque du Soleil, I feel like it's completely out of place. Maybe even like Burning Man. Like this could be good festival attire. Also the print is very interesting. It's like, I think it's flowers, but in a more like abstract Monet type sense. And then the back is open. Now this one from our lovely JW Anderson, the Multicolor Pigeon Clutch. This is a sculptural 3D printed resin clutch in multicolor. So this is plastic. I believe the opening is in the wing. So if you can see the wing, it has like a little opening. I don't know what you can put in here. I don't know where you're going with the pigeon clutch. And for over 1,125 Canadian dollars, I just feel like that's a lot to be carrying around a pigeon. Like it doesn't look like it comes with a strap. It doesn't look like it has like a carrier. You're just like a, just a clutch. and. 
with like the feet, I'm like, would this be comfortable to hold? I feel like it could look cool in your house if you want to like put something, put like a pigeon up. I mean, a pigeon of all birds though, the ghetto seagull as my cousin calls it. Next, we have this anatomical heart from Gucci. This is from their Gucci Aria collection. If you want an $11,140 bag that's in the shape of an anatomical heart that you too can hold and maybe fit your lip gloss in, this bag is for you. The silver Broadway heart-shaped shoulder bag made of metal and glass. It has crystals, so you know there is that, but I'm just thinking for $11,000, the only person or the only demographic that I can see being interested in this is maybe Jeffrey Dahmer cult or Hannibal Lecter or anyone like maybe... The call me by your name guy. Army Hammer. Army Hammer core. This one is for you, baby. Next from Balenciaga's sister, we have this pink down jacket. It is a quilted down filled stretch nylon crushed velvet jacket, adjustable bungee style drawstrings throughout. You will look like you just crawled out of your tent in the most bougie caterpillar outfit ever, looking like the caterpillar. I believe it's from like that ant movie. What I do like about this though, even though it is $7,000, which is a lot for a winter jacket, there's two detachable pieces. So you can either make it floor length, you can make it knee length, you can make it hip length. There is a lot of adjustments that you can have here. However, being crushed velvet, this jacket would do horrifically in anywhere that rains remotely even a small bit during the winter. In Vancouver, I can just see it getting so mucky and gross on the bottom. I can see it sucking up all the water as you walk outside. And for over $7,200, like, I don't know, just get a bunch of Canada Goose jackets. Next, we have another bag from Gucci. I believe this is also from the Aria collection. This is the brown equestrian Gigi top handle bag. I don't really see a top handle though. Oh, I guess on the bottom there. But this bag is in the shape, you know, it, there's an equestrian hat, there is a drawstring bag that comes out of it, and then you two can look like you are repurposing your equestrian wear. I don't know where the resurgence of helmet core in fashion is sort of coming about. Celine did a line of helmets. I think Chanel also had some helmet pieces on their uh, cruise runway. And now we have this one, obviously. I'm like, is head safety, but make it fashion a thing now? I'm just really curious. However, at over $5,000, I just see this being a very, you know, it's like an interesting fashion piece, but it's not going to, I don't think it's really going to like stand the test of time. Maybe if you have it in your closet and then like someone pulls it out and you're like, oh my God, remember this like really cool equestrian helmet? What do you all think? So now we have one from Stella McCartney. This is in collaboration with Disney. Disney seems to be the luxury bicycle. Everyone is riding it and collaborating with it. Disney is making their rounds. They have collabed with anybody and everybody. This is the Black Fantasia Mickey shoulder bag. This one is a circular, it seems very sculptural with ears. It has a little top chain, top handle. It's very cute. However, the price at over 3,750 makes me question, do people really love Disney that much? Like I know Disney is like something that people grow up with, is something that they love. But I'm like, do enough adults really love Disney to spend the amount of money that these designer collabs are charging? I don't know. Made from cruelty-free non-animal materials in a textile circular velvet bag. You know, it's cute. It's, it's just very novelty. Like these things are very novelty. I feel like you would get them, you'd wear them, people would see it, and then it would get old. Okay, now Gucci and Balenciaga seem to be on the hit list today, but now we have the Gucci Off-White Lace-Up Leather Pants. Basically how I did this, I went into each category and then I clicked high-low, and then I just went from there and picked the weirdest pieces. The weirdest pieces are also seem to be the most expensive pieces. These pants at over $9,570 are made of grained buffalo leather, and they have a zip that goes all the way on the front to all the way on the bottom. I can just see like someone just going like that in the back or that in the front and it, it would be over for you. And what do you do then? And what if like they have like this lacing or like this whip, whatever on top. I'm like, what if someone just pulls it? Like, I just feel like these pants, there's just too many areas where it could go wrong and your back could be out, your front could be out. They could just zip down the bottom and then the whole things would fall off. Like, what do you do then? But oof, I don't know. Plus like white leather on a pant. Whew, like you, you gotta know yourself. You gotta know what you're doing, where you're going, what you're eating, who you're sitting with, what you're sitting on in order to make these happen. Next is from Givenchy. This is the black croc short cape vest in black calfskin, but it's croc embossed at over $5,335. It just looks like a paper bag. Like it doesn't look flattering at all. It doesn't really look like it provides much to the outfit. I just don't really see like the point of this. 
Like it's not like it's sculpting to the body. It's not like it's giving you shape. If anything, it's making you look wider. It just looks so boxy and ugly. I don't know, that's my take. Next from Maison Margiela. I'm surprised there's not more Maison Margiela on here given that they're so experimental with their fashion. These are the black rubber thigh high boots at over $4,165. You too can get a thigh high rubber boot that will go all the way up into your crotch. These are like those fisherman boots that you can get and we'll get into those later. But these ones I'm like, maybe with all of the flooding that's happening globally, these would be a good pick. You know, we are in the swings of climate change, hotter summers, wetter winters for future us. When the seas are rising and the tides are rising and the water is up to our necks, maybe these boots will come in handy. All right, now we have one from Tom Brown. This is the black and white gingham dog messenger bag. They make a lot of these animal shaped bags. However, what drew me to this one was the <laughs> extreme length. This one is very long. It looks like it would be sort of tippy. Like, I don't know if the inside compartment goes the whole length of the bag or if you can only put things in like the middle of the bag for like center of gravity. But this one is so long. It is only 6.5 inches high, but it is 22 inches long. So the dimensions of this bag, the proportions of this bag are sort of all over the place. It is very cute. I do like it. It is adorable. But I'm just like, it is so long. Like you put it on a table, it take up the full table. Now to the Fisherman core that I was talking about earlier, we have these Maison Margiela off-white leather waders. So these are like types of, I guess, outfits that they're sort of like overalls, but they're connected to like rubber boots and you walk into like the water and you can like fly fish and whatnot. But these ones are polyurethane coated canvas twill waders, buff calfskin trim throughout. I'm just like, why would you buy this? You can go to the Bass Pro Shop, get these for maybe like less than $100. I actually have no idea how much waiters are, but I know that they are not $3,235. And by saying off-white leather waiters in their, you know, in their title, you would assume that the whole thing is made of leather, but apparently all of it's made of cotton and polyurethane, and then only the trim is leather. I don't know. I'm like, is this fashion now? Is, is just taking items from the Bass Pro Shop and making them slightly more elevated fashion. Next from Alan Crossetti, this is the gold nose plaster and it also comes in silver. I don't know where this came from. I think like I've been seeing some makeup trends as I've been dabbling into TikTok. Follow me, Anthropology on TikTok, same name. And it's just like these nose plasters for $795, it is gold vermeil, so it's sterling silver base. You know, they do some sort of chemistry to make the gold stick to it. But I'm just like, it's a nose, like it's a, it's like someone just put like a band-aid on their nose and spent $800 on it. Also comes in silver if gold's not your color. I just find that really weird. I find that very bizarre to look like you needed a band-aid on your nose, but a jewelry version of it. That's my video. I'll link these down below if you want to purchase any of these items. Um, you know, if you do, good on you. If you don't, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know some of the weirdest items you found on Essence or other websites. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you want to see more from me, like, comment, yada, yada, yada. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all next time. Bye, guys.